kids are coming to Woodford and um, they were with me at Woodford three years ago and in general they come to most festivals with me and tour with me. It is half past ten and we made it into Woodford uh, well we got here a few hours ago but the rear diff of the car caught on fire there was police and fire engines it was all dramatic <laughs> You would never, I w you'd never su suspect the father of, of your own kids to be the perpetrator of the violence. Yeah, we're great. <laughs> he said that he'd like to move out to Australia and try again somewhere where we can make a fresh start. Then, you know, life hands you pressures and his anger and his rages at, at me and then the kids started to come more and more. Woodford Festival is magic. As soon as you get here, it's like you enter a whole different world. Sorry, C. <laughs> Bring it everywhere in the world with me. I can't drink Australian tea. The best shop to go to is the um, the Mexican shop because you can get tornado potatoes for five dollars and they're the best in the whole entire festival. And it was, do I want to sit here and live in fear in my whole life or do I want to start an incredible adventure with my three kids? And so the bus idea was born out of that, you know, a way to rewrite and and start anew as the four of us, me and the three kids. Oh, we've just come down for a healing from the women from Arnhem Land. We got everyone down for today. Feel slimy. <laughs> when you're on the road, I mean, you meet something new every single day and it was such a beautiful way for us to heal. You are faced with beauty, you're faced with adversity, you're faced with change and all that. And, and it, it brings you so close, you know. I was teaching at a primary school uh, down in Victoria and I remember I called the principal up saying, I don't know if I can come back. And she just said, we've given you wings, now fly.